let's divide 12 by 7. And we'll use these steps here. And these are the same for all long division problems. So first off, divide. 7 goes into 1. Nah, but 7 goes into 12 just one time, because 2 times 7 would be 14. That wouldn't work. So 1, then we multiply. 1 times 7 is 7. Subtract right here. 12 minus 7 is 5. And then we bring down. But there's nothing to bring down. Here's what you do. Put a decimal point after the 12 here, and we can call it 12.0. It's still 12, but if we put our decimal point up here, then we can bring the zero down. So now we go back up to the top, divide. 7 goes into 50. Well, 7 times 7, that's 49. So we can then subtract, we get 1, and then we can just bring down again here. You could call that 12.00 if you wanted. Bring down 10. So then we divide. 7 goes into 10 one time. 1 times 7 is 7. Subtract, we get 3. We could put another 0 out here, bring it down. And 7 goes into 30 four times. And it looks like this is just going to keep going for a while because 4 times 7 is 28, and I'm out of space. So at this point, I would probably just stop and call this 1.71, or you could keep going, get some more digits. But when we divide 12 by 7 using long division, we end up with 1.714, and it keeps going for a little while. That's it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.